hi you guys I'm back and yes I know it's been a while um so everyone knows it got flooded in Houston my kids were home for a week because their school was closed and like three days later I realized I was you know I needed to go somewhere and I've been using my husband's car because he's been home and then I try to start my car and it won't start so I think that it got too wet and um, like the computer in my car got messed up because my computer lies on the floorboard that you know makes the car work so I have to get a new car uh, actually I actually have to go meet some right uh, someone right now to sell my car uh, you know for what it's worth without running and then I have to get that money put it in my savings and then you know see what kind of car I can get but um, that's a good thing because like I've been wanting a new car anyway though. Uh, so that's why I'm not too you know too too upset my car did have sentimental value because I did bring both my home I mean both my home both my kids home from the hospital in it and you know that's that's like memories and stuff I've had that car forever but now it's time for a new car yes um plus I'm getting ready to move so I'm gonna have a new car a new house it's just gonna be a good year for me um we're probably not gonna move for about six months because our house has to be built so have, we're going through that process right now um but yes I'm sorry I've been gone for a week um I think I will be covering topics actually I want to actually talk about lemonade by uh, Beyonce and I'm also going to do another breakdown video um, for that video on my other channel so y'all look out for that but yes Beyonce called out her man for cheating she was like you know putting it all out there she was you know putting everybody's business out in the street and you know talking about the side chick how she's gonna skin her and wear her skin and her teeth as confetti and she was just like so uh, upset and she wanted you know she expressed that in the video um, so I'm just gonna talk about that aspect of the video because she was trying to say you know a lot of women are mistreated a lot of black men cheat no matter what you can be Beyonce and still get cheated on but basically she took the power back in her own hands and she's like you know what uh, even though you did this this is and that our relationship is much more valuable than uh, you know we're more valuable together than we are apart I'm not going to let that you know get in the way of our relationship and we're going to try to rebuild and restart and re renew and a lot of women do this when their uh, husband or boyfriend cheats they will give them another chance and usually after this third chance if, if they don't learn it's pretty much over so she was basically warning him look you're gonna lose your wife she threw her ring and everyone knows that when a big diva leaves her husband there is some billionaire foreign probably waiting in the sidelines for her okay everybody knows that if she left Jay-Z tomorrow she could get a billionaire the next day no problem like 10 times richer than Jay-Z that's the funny part and he knows that and then his whole career would be ruined why because the man that cheated and dissed Beyonce, are you serious? He's going to get drugged through the dirt. His name's going to be trashed. You know, she's uh, she's going to come out with somebody way richer. Um, or, you know, I don't even know where she would go in that direction. But she's probably going to do way more, become like a giant star, more giant than she already is because of, you know, oh, my husband was was terrible and now I'm a single mother and she's just gonna get all this outpouring of love and support from people and it's just gonna overshadow him and make him look like the bad guy so he can't leave her so he has to get his act together because she is airing his dirty laundry and he had to co-sign it <laughs> just to keep her now you know <sighs> that takes a lot of uh, humiliation so anyway um if you're 
If you haven't seen it, I have it on my Facebook page. It's on Beyonce Turkeys on Facebook if you're looking for it. That's the name of the group, I think. And yeah, y'all go check it out. It's really deep spiritually as well. And like I said, I'm going to break down the spiritual aspect of that video on my other channel because this channel is not, you know, really um, in that direction. So I'm just going to break down the parts where, you know, the relationship parts. And, you know, why would why would Jay-Z want another woman if you had Beyonce? I'll tell you why. Because it gets routine. It gets boring. Like I said, remain mysterious or your man is going to find something else, something different, something more interesting, something more mysterious. You know, if you're always there, if you're always doing everything he asks, if you're always, you know, saying, oh, I love you, da, 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 that's too much. You need like women should back up and let the man chase them even after marriage. I keep telling people it the games don't stop when you get married. They start all over. Okay? And if your husband is not chasing you, then he's going to want to chase something. So, if you're always giving it up too easy, if you're always, you know, cooking, cleaning, doing all being the perfect wife and stuff, that's not enough. You have to have mystery about you. You have to give him something to chase. You need to challenge him in some type of way because he's going to get bored real quick. He has to be able to worry about you, wonder about you, miss you, you know, think about you. If you're always just calling him on the phone, texting him, saying, oh, I can't wait for you. That's cute and fun in the beginning. But after you've been married so many years, got kids, it's like blah. You know, if you don't text your husband all day and he wondering he and he's wondering where you are and you're not giving him the you know the information on every step you take if you uh you know plan trips without him go this place and that place you know make moves without him knowing oh i forgot to tell you he's gonna be like well dang you know how can i get her attention back so you have to remain mysterious you have to be more you know into yourself women that are really into themselves their husbands are always chasing them. Okay, if you ever notice that, it's the materialistic, narcissistic women whose husbands are always chasing them in the marriage. Why? Because they still have not caught them. <laughs> and that is the key. You cannot ever be caught, even when you're married. You can you have to be like, oh yeah, I'm married. Um, but I still like to, you know, I still like to have my fun. I still do this. I'm gonna go shopping, I'm going on vacation, I might go out with the girls. You know, your opinion, the husband's opinion is not number one, okay? Your opinion is number one. Then maybe your mom's, then maybe your sister, then his. You gotta, and guys, I'm sorry, but this is just how it works because men take things for granted too much and you can't give them that much power in your marriage. So, you have to put them like third when you're, you know, trying to keep it mysterious. Now, if you're trying to get a man and you're not married yet, yeah, you got to give him that attention. But when you've been married, things are old. He's had you. You've had his kids. Things are just blah. Every day is the same. You got to give him a reason to think about you, to wonder about you, to want to text you, to do this, 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 and that. Besides, oh, we're married, you know. You got to make him think, oh, you know, go to the gym on the nice side of town where all the rich guys go, you know, get you some cute gym clothes, uh, make yourself up every day. Don't, don't let him come home, um, letting, you know, seeing you like a couch potato with no makeup and sweats on look good when he gets home, you know, and if he asks you where you've been, he's like, oh, I've just been out and around running errands and stuff. Like, he doesn't know. If, if you're all made up, he's going to think you were out having fun doing something. Now he's going to be like, well, what is she doing? I better text her tomorrow at this, you know, around lunch and see what, you know, you got to keep him guessing. That is the game always in marriage, you know. I wake up every day. I put my makeup on. I do my hair. I put on an outfit, some jewelry. My husband don't know what I do during the day. I could be gone on the other side of town. I could be right here at my house. <sighs> I could be doing anything. And that is the mystery. And the freedom that I have. And that's what keeps him interested. Because I have eight hours plus to do whatever I want during the day. Okay. And... You know, every once in a while, he'll text me, where are you? What you doing? You know, sometimes I'll answer. Sometimes I won't. That's what you got to do. It's all a game. 
And if y'all haven't learned that by watching Beyonce's Lemonade, y'all ain't never gonna learn. Games do not stop after marriage. They start and they get stronger, okay? So I'm just here to let y'all know. I've been married for 10 years, 11 years. Been with the same person for 15, 15 years, on, going, going on 16 years. So I know what I'm talking about, okay? He's still chasing me. He still haven't caught me. And we've been married for a long time and have two kids. You know why he has never caught me? Because I always let him know. I always let him know that I could have better. <laughs> and the, the that might sound conceited and that might sound crazy. And I know guys are going to be like, uh, but y'all not him. Y'all aren't him. Okay. Y'all don't have a, y'all don't have his thoughts in your mind. So y'all can't chime in on the conversation. But <laughs> I've done lots of things to ensure that he's not going anywhere. Believe me. And that he will always continue to chase me. And that's how it's always going to be. And that's a good thing. <laughs> um, so, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to check out my other video on my other channel. If I do it, I'll try to link it below. It's more of the spiritual aspect, you know. And I will see y'all later.